once again. We're coming to you live from Harry Smith Truck Stop, and it's a hustle and bustle like no other. Truck drivers driving in, refueling, heading out. Some of them have spent the night here. Some of them are getting tested as we speak for various ailments. The officials are here from the transport department just having a look at the vicinity. We do know, as we've just seen, even banners are falling. That's, that's just how busy it is this morning. But I want to hone, zone in at least and take a look at the health aspect of what's happening here this morning. It is quite important, especially when we take a look at the health of truck drivers and ensuring uh, that uh, they uh, minimize the road carnage here. We're joined by one of the health workers who's a counsellor, Yolanda Mshoma. Mshoma. A very good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Tell me, Yolanda, what, what sort of uh, ailments are you testing for this morning? Okay, we're testing blood pressure, sugar, cholesterol, and HIV. With HIV, if you like, it's voluntary. If you don't like, you don't do the HIV test. Now, I know uh, in any circumstances, people don't like to be tested. They don't like needles. They don't like prodding and poking. What has been the response of the truck drivers? Okay, most truck drivers, they do test for HIV, but mostly they like testing their sugar. They're most worried about their blood pressure and sugar because they're always on the road. Mm. And then do you find that if there are problems with the blood pressure or with the sugar, etc., that they want follow-up uh, checkups? Yes, they do. And then we have our clinics in most truck stops whereby they can do follow-ups and get medication. Now, in this particular truck stop, there is a, a full-time medical center here. But we have these mobile facilities just to reinforce that for the month of October. Tell me sort of what other work do you do in this area? Okay, mostly we travel around to different companies whereby we give people who can't go to the clinics or their doctors. We do medical checkups. If we find someone who has a problem, we refer them. Either they go to their doctor or they go to the local clinics. When you do the tests, what are the prevalent uh, ailments that you do find? Because I, I said a little bit earlier that my cholesterol was a little bit high. I won't say exactly how high it was, but I've been given some tips on how to bring it back down. But what are some of the common things? Are you finding blood pressure is more up? Are you finding that it's, um, uh, it's sugar? Are you finding that it's uh, cholesterol? What, what, what are the common problems? Okay, with most truck drivers, we do find people who have a sugar problem or it's either the blood pressure, but then most of them know that they've got this problem. So we do tell them where they can find the medication or they go to their local clinics or their doctors. Let's talk about the HIV problem now. Driving through here yesterday, we saw quite a number of sex workers on the road there. And it is something that people laugh about. It is something that people talk about. Sometimes it is a misconception that we have. But what is the situation like? How serious is it, especially when it comes to HIV infection? Okay, with most sex workers, they do come to us whenever we're testing and most of them know their status. They know how to keep safe and most drivers also know when they're on the road, we're always there to test them. If they need condoms, we always volunteer or give them condoms, but most of them, they normally buy their own. So they are very conscious about uh, health? Yes, they are very, very, very conscious about their health. How important is this particular depot? I spoke to the CEO um, a little bit earlier, uh, Mr. Ben Daisel, and he said to me that this particular area is an initiative that came up from the drivers themselves, that it's a bottom-up approach, and they said, we would like to have a truck stop right here because it's such a convenient place for us. It is extremely busy. How important is it, do you think, when it comes to health, that you're situated right here? Okay, I think it's very important because especially in this area, there's mostly like sex workers and most of the drivers do buy the sex workers. So with the clinic being here and the condoms being provided for them, they'll be able to like keep safe and be healthier. Thank you so much for that update. And uh, I was joking a little bit earlier with some of my colleagues here and said there's a scale there as well. Now, I'm sure the truck drivers don't mind weighing themselves. But for some of the ladies who are using the facilities today, we've been running away from that scale for reasons that we know why. We know what we've been indulging in. But thank you so much, Yolanda, for that update. And as I said, it's not just the physical body that's being checked here, but also the physical body of the vehicles. Just a stone's throw away. We have a filling station there. There's some testing stations there and we do know that drivers also get to swap and change so one who is tired can spend the night over here and a fresh driver can drive through and we know uh, that that goes a long way in ensuring safety as well we'll have to leave it there at least for now a lot going on here more in just a moment we're going to speak to a truck driver as well in no time do stay with us leanne it's over to you yeah thanks very much and i look forward to that so